Hi, welcome back. Long time no see. You might already have guessed by the title what I'm just doing today. <laughs> so I got this gem art kit. And if you haven't seen one of these before, what it is is essentially a bunch of little gems, so like plastic diamondy type things that you stick on to a canvas like this one to make a sort of bumpy raised picture made of little gems. I think sometimes it's also called diamond painting or something like that. But I've been looking for one of these for a while because I really want to do it. But I hadn't found any that I thought were that nice looking <laughs> that I would actually want to keep or, you know, have fun doing. But I saw this one the other day and I think it's pretty cute, so. So I thought that we could do this together. So, let's unpack. Okay, so I've opened up the package, and in here we've got five colours of um, little gems. Some little bags, I think, probably to store them in if you take a break. Um, and a little tray to put them in. I don't think I'm going to use this, because I want to use these bowls, just so I can separate out all the colours. And this is a little wax square, and you're meant to use it with the applicator to make it sticky so that you can pick up the gems. So I need to take off the plastic. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and then the instructions. What I'm not sure about is how they stick onto you. It just says. Select your first gem colour from the packets provided. The number on the pack will correspond to the number printed on the canvas. Pour them into the tray. Da -da -da -da. Only peel back a small section of the plastic film to work on one section at a time. The top layer is very sticky. Ah, okay. I just didn't read it, but there it is. So, I reckon we start by putting these into their bowls. Here we have our five colours. Start with the first one. Pink. 
one here. Ooh, I dropped a couple. This dark blue. So now I've got all my colors ready. I've got green, white, pink, purple, and blue. So they said to do it a section at a time rather than peel off the whole thing because it's really sticky. So that is what I will do. I'm going to start down here, I think. So let's peel back that plastic. Okay, so it's kind of sliced. There we go. <laughs> so I've got this bit out now. And they said what to do is to stick the applicator in the wax. <laughs> so there's a little bit of wax in there now. And that makes it nice and sticky to pick up these. I'm going to start with the white ones because there's only a couple there. This is quite satisfying, actually. But I'm kind of worried it won't, won't get them on the square the way that they're meant to be. There's five more left. That's not true, actually. There's seven left. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Can I go to the wrong place? I'm just gonna push it. No, that does not work. Okay. I guess I've just gotta be better from now on. just what that looks like there. I'm going to move you so that you can see this process a little bit better. All right, welcome back to New Angle so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm moving on to green. So I'm just going to have to, I haven't got them laid out, so I'm just picking up the ones that are the right way around. So then they're stuck like that and just put them on. Makes that nice little kind of pop. Ooh, there's two. So I guess this is probably going to end up looking a bit kind of like 8-bit style. Well, I got that one. Mm, okay. With some of them, I haven't put them perfectly on the square. So I'm worried the other ones won't fit, but I'm making it work, don't worry. So now I'm going to move on to the pink. That's these ones. Let's start with the ones around that center, I think. Ooh, oh no, I got two. Get down. <gasps> oh, I dropped one.
Oh my god, it's so sticky. Right. Let's try again. There we go. So let's just do those two. Got a perfect little square. It's a little bit frustrating, but if I don't stick it down perfectly in the first go, there are little gaps between them. But still, yeah, that's pretty good. So guys, <laughs> while I do this, we we'll just have a little, a little chit chat. I'll tell you what I've been getting up to. So I've been a bit inactive lately because I've been traveling. So I'm sorry about my absence, but I'm hoping to come back full swing. But in September, I'll be starting term again. And so I won't be as busy. Um, well, I mean, I'll still be busy because I'm uni, but I will at least be home. So I'll be able to be making videos regularly as per usual again. So last week, was it the week before that? Last week I went to Belgium to Dahan to visit some family members of mine, who <laughs> not from Belgium, they're from Germany, but they were also visiting, so we did a little holiday together, which was really, really nice, because I very rarely get to see my extended family, because none of them live in this country, <laughs> and it's crazy to see how tall all of my cousins have gotten since last time I saw them. But Tahan is beautiful, it's really nice. It's a lovely sandy beach there, which I especially enjoyed. I went for a swim, which actually, despite the ongoing heat waves, it's the first time I've been in the sea this year, even though I live on the coast. But I had a great time. I had some lovely Belgian waffles and fries. And then popped on home. But before that, even, I took a trip with the wife to go, where did I go? Budapest. And that was much longer. For Dahan, I only went for a weekend, but we went to Budapest for a week and. God, it was gorgeous. It was crazy hot though. Um, it was 37 degrees Celsius for the first four days, I think, that we were there. Which, which compared to here in the UK, where it is, or at least it was before we left, sort of mid 20s, it's just way too hot. I don't really fare that well in hot weather. Or cold weather. I actually have just a very small range, I guess, where I'm comfortable. But, because I'm very fair skinned, I burn super easily. And that just meant that I was wearing an insane amount of sunscreen for this entire trip and <laughs> staying in the shade. But it was totally worth it. It was so beautiful. We actually went to a water park on one of those days just as a way to cope with the heat, but it was absolutely great. But the fun isn't quite over yet, don't worry, because um, I will be going for two weeks, sort of the end of August, to Japan, which I am so mega excited about. And I am actually just super lucky to be able to go because I'm going with my father dearest, who is speaking at a conference there. And 
<laughs> very, very kindly is taking me as his plus one. So, I am mega, mega, mega looking forward to that. I have wanted to go to Japan for years, but obviously it's very difficult and costs a lot of money. So, I'm jumping on this opportunity. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Little corner finished. So, let's do this a little bit. I was thinking actually that while I'm there, I will try to look for some sort of ASMR props that I couldn't get around here. Specifically, I was thinking about those um, ear cleaning things, you know, that's the like the little stick with the fluffy pom pom at the end, made for ear cleaning. I was going to see if I could find any of those, but I'm sure that I'll find lots of interesting stuff either way. ASMR related or not. Okay, I'm getting better at it <laughs> after some practice. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so if any of you out there have ever been to Japan, please give me some recommendations. I'm going to be going to Tokyo, to Kyoto, and to Hiroshima. So. If any of those areas have anything of note that you think I should not miss, please go ahead and let me know in the comments, because I am very excited, and I will definitely miss out on some stuff because there's so much to do, but I want to make the most of it. Why are you not sticky? Oh my god, wait, there's still plastic there. <laughs> god, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's do where the plastic is not yet, which is here. I'm just going to do the open area and then take away the plastic, I think. Yeah, so sorry about that. That's why I've been so inconsistent lately. Plus, um, developing my account on Lula. And thankfully, once all of my holiday shenanigans are finished, I'll be able to update my schedule on there and see some of you guys for some sessions as well. But overall, very exciting. But I'm going to be glad to be back and regularly posting on my channel too. Yay. If any of you guys have been out and about recently, do let me know. I'd love to hear about your trips too. Truly, I think traveling is my absolute favorite thing to do. So do give me recommendations too. Places that I need to visit. I am so happy to, <laughs> you know, to be really frugal all year round, just so that I've got the money to go on some nice trips over the summer. I think it's totally worth it. I'm also currently in the process of converting an old bedroom in this house into a sort of workspace for me and my housemates. And <laughs> let me tell you, the state of this room was pretty rough when we started. It was a kid's bedroom when we moved in. and. There was a lot of wall decor <laughs> that I needed to take down. 
So a lot of like glitter glue, feathers, foam stuff stuck to the walls. And they actually also painted clouds on the ceiling using plaster, so it's like 3D, which has been a real pain in my butt. But I just bought an electric sander and I'm hoping that that's going to ease some of my troubles. But what I'm really excited for is once that room's done, not only can I use it to study, but I will also be able to film in there. So that I've got just a bit of a better setup going on, you know? That means you'll no longer be staring at my bedroom every time I'm making a video. Which I think will be nice. But also, I can use that room to study then when I'm at uni. Because every specialist ever recommends that you do not study work in the same room <laughs> where you sleep. Because it is good to keep that separation. So I want to try and adhere to that. This coming year. What colour should I paint my study, guys? Or my filming room? What do you think? I'm still stuck on that since I'm still at the sanding stage. I've not had to think about the wall colour yet. But I want it to be something interesting. Nothing plain. Well, plain colour is fine, but nothing. Um, I don't want any beige or white or. Magnolia. I think I want something fun. What would you say? Oh, okay. I dropped it. How do I save it? <gasps> okay. Okay, I'm just gonna push it over as far as I can get it, but I'll try to squeeze it in using the ones around it. There we go, I kind of put it back into place. Petal is done. There we go. So I can do a bit more of this petal as well, just before I get onto the blue. But that is where the plastic is still there, so it stops being sticky here. I'll get on as many as I can before peeling it anymore. Ooh, okay. That is my exposed bit of flower. So, I'm gonna do the blue bit next. So I'm switching to these. This is the colour that there's the most off. And understandably so. <laughs> so let's get some laid out flat and fill in this tiny little gap. Okay. There we go. I've got the whole space to fill in now. So let me just zoom through that.
the little section. So I think what I'm going to do now is peel this back a bit and then do this part. So there we go. I've revealed the next flower. I'll start with these bits again, then that, and then get on the blue. I can do this part as well while I'm doing this green. So let's start with that. Just not sticky enough. Right. This actually is quite time consuming <laughs> to everybody out there who's thinking about doing it. So maybe it's something that's kind of nice to do in. What's it called? Batches? That can't be right. To do in. Sittings. Like you could come home and you could do 10 minutes every day or something. But for the sake of satisfaction, I'm doing the whole thing now. That's finished. I'm going to do that little corner as well because that's out. There we go. So, I'm going to do the white and then the purple, I think. So, let's get our white ready. Pop those on. That's the last white one. And now, back to purple. I wonder whether they give you the exact right amount of beads or if they just kind of chuck in a bunch. I imagine they must give you at least sort of roughly the right amount, right? So I wonder how many I can lose before I'm in trouble. An incident. Hang on. Let's get rid of some of these. Let's fill in these gaps.
There we go. We've got our second flower. So I'm going to do the blue around it now. Right. Finishing off this big section. I went ahead and did a bunch of this dark blue. Just fill that area out. There we go. I peeled this bit back as well, so I'm just going to do up there and around that flower. Right, okay. So as much as I want to follow these instructions and do it section by section, I think what I want to do is just peel this whole thing off and then just do all of the blue. Because you know what? I am getting impatient with these little guys. I want to just be able to do the whole thing. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I will see you in a moment. I am glad that I decided to <laughs> um, skip over the process of doing all of this play because I have been at this for about a million years now. But I will spare you guys that. Of it turns out they give you loads of spares, which I am glad about because I've lost a fair few along the way. This may not have been a surprise to you, but I don't think that I was expecting this to take as long as it has. So believe me, if you want something to do, grab one of these, it'll last you a while. I'm not sure I'd recommend doing it all in one sitting as I am. I keep dropping them and then not being able to find them again because they are either like lost within the sea of other ones or they've like stuck to one of the other bits. But I've got more than enough to finish up this little spot. we go. Wow. That is all the blues done. So, what should we move on to next? How about we do pink? Because then we can get 
this flower, the middle of that one, and the middle of this one done. Let's do that. I'm gonna do the center first. But it shouldn't really take too long, especially compared to all the blue that I just did. Because <laughs> it's only really quite small. Something I've been meaning to ask is, after my video announcing um, my participation on Lula, I had a few people mention that I should try Twitch streaming, which I am familiar with. However, what I want to ask was, what kind of content would people want to see if I were to do that? Because I think I like the idea of streaming, it sounds fun. But would it just be ASMR like my videos? Or more interactive content? Or something entirely different, like unrelated? <laughs> I'd like to know what you guys have to say about that, since you would be the people watching it, so definitely worth some input. Let me know. Yeah. There's our little center. So now I'm gonna do the center before moving on to that flower. That's the last of the pink. is our second one. So now, the only pink left is this one. We've got this many left. So, let's get going. Thank you. 
so this is my last little bit of pink coming up now. And I'm actually sweating a little bit from this strenuous activity. <laughs> But next, what do I move on to? I've got green, white, and lilac left. I think there's probably the least white of everything, followed by green and then purple. So what do I do? Do I go from order of less to least? Maybe I should do that. Okay, so I'll do purple next. You know what I remember seeing now? You can get things like this, but that have like six um, holes. So you can do so many more at a time. Maybe that would have been worth investing in, but let's do that now. So there's our pink done. And I'm going to be doing the rest of the purple next. So I have that to do here in this flower. The center of this one, this checkered one again, and then this whole one there. So. I'm going to start with the checker on this side. Here's my purple. Last one. So there's that flower's purple done. So I could do this one, this one, or that one now. I reckon I'm going to do the center.
There we have it. Our filter. So, now I'm left with the checkered one and the filled in one. And I dropped some on both of them already. But I'm going to put it onto this one. That's Okay, so that is all the purple done. So that leaves me with the white and the green. And I think I'm going to do the white next. So that's these guys. And I'm going to start with this in the center. I'm going to do the two centers and the two things. Next flower center. This is two centers. Let's move on to this flower.
So just finishing this one off. And then that's that flower done. There we go. And now moving straight on to this one. Last couple done, and the whole thing. There we go. That is it. Finished. It's really nice how it sort of sparkles. <laughs> My cat is getting annoyed because it's getting close to dinner time. But it's not dinner time yet, so he can make all the noise he wants. Okay, so here is my finished piece. You might notice that it is a fair bit darker now. That was because this took me hours, <laughs> literally all day. But it was very much worth it. It has this sort of MDF back. So it's really solid. Which made it a lot easier to make. Because with the aggression, then I was punching some of those on. <laughs> Probably would have broken through and all the cavities. Thank you for joining me while I made this little beauty. I definitely do recommend them if you just want something to do in your spare time and it's good fun. It's really satisfying. But if I were you, I wouldn't do it all in one go. It took a really long time. And it's much better saved for a little bit every day. But I hope you guys had a good time. I definitely did. And I'll see you again next week.